Hello and welcome again. In the previous video, uh, we were looking at the uh, how to create DS keys uh, using uh, key generator in Java. So if you look at what I have here, this is the same code that I had in the free previous video. And if you remember here, uh, I had this object called my key generator, which is an object that generates uh, DS keys, uh, randomly generated. And so what you do is, remember you, what you do is you, you're going to take this object and you're going to generate a key. And the way you do it is you call the name of your object, whatever the name you gave it, that generate key here. And then you're going to put it in some variable that I'm going to call my desk key. And remember, you can call it whatever you want. And that's of, let's say, of this uh, of this type. Now, um, one thing that I want to mention before we actually see the contents of that key because remember when we look at this uh, printer out on the console and it just prints out not just information about the key but not the actual key itself. Uh, but before we go into that, uh, I wanna show you this feature is, uh, which is I think is very important is I have my object here that I call my generator. You can use that object to generate more keys. So I already used it here to generate my desk key Again, you can call it whatever you want, but I can use it again and, and create another key if I might need some other key for DES. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to copy this line of code here and I'm going to paste it. And let's say I want to generate another key. So let's call that one uh, two. So my desk key two. You see, I'm using exactly the same object to do that. So you can reuse that object to generate more keys. Uh, and you can do it as many times as you want. Let's say, for example, we want another one. So let's say I want to copy and paste that code again. And then let's say I have another key that I'm going to call my desk key uh, three. And I can go ahead and print them out, all of them, and see what they look like. So let's see here, copy and paste my desk key two. And then again, the same thing will be my desk key three. And then so that will print out uh, the three of them. So let me save this. I'm going to run it. And as you can see that I have the three of them, again, the same situation. Uh, the first part, let's look at the second one. This is the provider, per the group of people who uh, coded the DES. The type of key it is a DES key and is at this location in memory. So all of them are, are different, of course. Uh, this is randomly generated. So you can do that. You can use the same ob object to generate different keys uh, if you might use them maybe in the same code. So you don't have to create another object, another key generate to generate more keys. Again, this object that is right here generates only DES keys because that's how we define it. We define it here as a DES key generator. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this now because you know that you can now use that for several, uh, several to generate several keys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how are we going to see the contents of that uh, DES key that we call, in this case, my DES key? Now, to do that, I, I would like to show you first uh, writing, explaining exactly what the code is going to do uh, before we actually go to Eclipse. So I'll go back to writing, and I'll see you in a little bit. So as you can see here, what I have is uh, the code that I had in the Eclipse application. So I had here my my key generator, we call my generator here of the class key generator. And I already generated my desk key that I call my desk key. You can call it whatever you want again. And the way you do it is remember that you take your object here and just say that generate key. Now, if you remember what happens is if I have to, uh, if I print out the contents of this, uh, here, if I try to print it out, it's just going to give me some kind of reference. You know, it's not going to give me the the actual contents of that key, which is should be a 64-bit. Now, um, so what you're going to do to do that is the following thing. So the first thing we have to do to see these this key, and remember, this is not essential. This is just to show you that this is an actual DES key. So what I'm going to do is I have to format uh, this one so we can read it. So the way to format it is like this. So you get you give the name of your key, which is in this case my DES key. So you say my uh, DES key. 
and you're gonna format it in a way that you, we can sort of see it. So the way to format it is you say that get encode encode parentheses that that piece of code that you see here this is gonna give me a byte array so it's gonna give me a byte array of of this of this key the byte array representing this this key that I have that I have here uh, of course, if I want to put it in a variable, then I just put it in a variable, or I just can write, just uh, print it out. It's gonna give me that that array. So let's put this in an array, in a byte array. So remember this getting code when I apply it to my DES key, whatever that name you give it over here, it's gonna give me a byte array, a byte array that represents this one. So let's put it in a byte array. So the way you put it is okay. So let's say this is a byte array. So you say byte square bracket and of course you have to give it a name um, whatever name you want so let's say I'm gonna put here my byte I didn't have space there let me erase it here so this is gonna be um, the byte array so let's say this is byte and this is gonna be an array and I'm gonna call this my byte for example now that name that I just wrote down over here, this one, is whatever name I want to give to that by array. Again, you can choose whatever you want. So what this line of code is going to do is going to take my DS key. This getting code, what it does is put it in a in a by array, so it generates the by array. And the only thing I'm doing here is just basically giving a name to this, whatever this is in here, so I can print it out. Now, if you remember a while back when we were doing the um, g uh, random generated things and we generated a, by a random byte array. What happened there is, even though is this is a byte array, this one, my bytes, when I try to print it out, it's still gonna print the address of that. N uh, and of course, the address is not what I want. I wanna see the actual contents of that, my DS key, so I put in a byte array and it's here and I have to uh, do something else there to to actually see the contents of that array because if I just print it out like this it's just gonna print out uh, the address of that by array if you remember what we were doing in random generator so to print it out to actually see it you're gonna print out this so you're gonna uh, say I'm not gonna write the whole code but you're gonna say if you remember what we did there in randomly generated numbers you say arrays that to a string And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, give the name of of your array byte array which is my bytes that is actually printing out i mean or this one if you put it inside a, a printout statement is gonna print out uh whatever the contents of that array are uh, in here so it's gonna be a byte a byte array so i'm gonna go ahead and show you this uh in the eclipse application so I'm back here in the Eclipse application, and as you can see, this is the same code as I had before. So now what we want to do is we actually want to see the contents of uh, my desk key, which is, I call it like that, my desk key. And you can call it whatever you want again. So remember what I was saying is you have to put that in a byte array first. So let's say, for example, byte, that's going to be an array. And then after that, you have the name of your variable, which I decided was to call it my bytes. And again, you can call it whatever you want. And that's equal to, and then we're going to say uh, my DS, the name of um, the DS key, whatever the name you put it. And then you said get encoded. Okay, so get encoded. And so you have it there. So that's that's it. So that now what happens is again in that line of code, what happens is I put whatever the byte array is of of that one, and I put it in the in the byte array called my byte. And if you actually want to print that out, uh, you can see if here if you remember what we did with the randomly generated uh, arrays there. Is it's gonna print just the address actually, so so to do 
to actually see the contents of that, you need to actually apply another thing to this my bytes in here. So let me let me run this one. So let me save this. I had an import here that I have to delete. All right. So let me let me uh, run it. And as you can see there, I just have the the address there. So that's not very good to visualize what's happening. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform this into actually something that I can create. So let's say, as you saw in the video, we say uh, race that to string. And I'm going to put that in parentheses there. My bytes. And that is actually going to print out the my DS key here as a as a byte array, something that I can distinguish. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to run it. And as you can see that I have my byte array. Now, if you count how many entries that byte array has is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 8 bytes. 8 bytes. 64 bits because a byte is a bit. So this is actually the key for DES. Of course, all these numbers are, are bytes. So the, every one of them is represented by a bit. So this is 107 is a bit, 109 is a bit, negative 20 is a bit, and so on and so forth. We don't have to actually go into the details of how to represent that by a bit. But we have, this is the DES key. So if you want to represent the DS key, this is going to be 64 bits because every entry here is a bit and we have uh, a byte, which is the number of elements here. So that is actually the DS key that we generated. So, so that's, you can see it. Now, all this code that I have here to see that, that's not necessary actually when you have to use the DS, as I mentioned before, because uh, you just use it. You don't have to visualize it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, um, how about if we want to put a password on it? Like, I want to give my DS key. I don't want Java to generate DS key for me because this is what this is doing is my DS key here. Uh, Java is randomly generating that DS, DS key. Every time I run it, it's going to be different. So you saw the first one. If I run this again, that you see is going to be a different DS key, again, 64 bits, but a different one. Let me close again and let me run it. And of course, that's a different one. So every time I run, it's going to be different. How about if I want to just put a, like a password on it? Something like I say, this is my key and that's what I'm going to use. That's what we're going to see in the next video. So I'm going to finish this video now. So we actually saw how to uh, randomly generate DS keys in Java to use them. Now, of course, in the later videos, what we're going to see is how to use those keys and how to actually encrypt and decrypt uh, data or messages using the DES uh, algorithm with certain DES key. So I'll see you in the next video.